Thank you. Thank you, Adan. A yeah. uh, couple of days ago, uh, hundreds of, hundreds of uh, protesters in Pakistan's Punjab province uh, attacked a Christian community over blasphemy charges. Uh, we have seen some uh, horrifying images, and this is not the first time Christians in Pakistan are facing such kind of attacks. Do so you have any comments on that? So we are aware of recent media reports of, uh, of mob violence and blasphemy charges against a Christian man uh, over alleged uh, desecration of the Quran. And as we've previously stated, we are always concerned by incidents of religiously motivated violence. Uh, violence or the threat of violence is never an uh, acceptable form of expression, and the U.S. Uh, uniformly opposes blasphemy laws everywhere in the world, including uh, in Pakistan. Five Pakistani soldiers were killed uh, in a gun battle with uh, terrorists at the Pakistan border region. And these terrorists who are regrouping in Afghanistan are not only targeting Pakistani security forces, but also targeting girls, schools, and those who are trying to maintain peace in the tribal belt. Pakistan and U.S. recently held counterterrorism dialogue where Pakistan is seeking some more weapons from U.S. You have anything to share? So we are aware of reports concerning the deaths of Pakistani soldiers uh, that were conducting operations along the Afghan border. And you are right, we are in regular communication with Pakistani leaders as part of our uh, counterterrorism issues. And we're going to continue to discuss regional security in detail, including through uh, high-level engagements, working-level engagements, and uh, other extensive bilateral consultations. So one last question, well. if sure. I may. So the Czech Republic uh, is working on the extradition of uh, Nikhil Gupta to the U.S. Gupta is, you know, accused of involvement in the plot to kill Khalistani leader Gupavan Singh Pune in New York. Um, he was named in, in an indi indictment filed by U.S. prosecutors. Do you have any details on that? So I would just refer you to the Department of Justice who can speak to that. We're not going to comment on pending extradition matters.